Hello! In this video, we will see how you can add map reference layers to your map visualizations in Oracle Analytics. A reference layer is a layer made of polygons, line, or points for which you don't have any business data to relate to, but you still need to show it on your map. Let's first begin by building a classic data layer. So here's a data set with my customer locations, and I can double click on lat and long and plot them on a map. This is a data layer. Now let's suppose that I also need to show the path of a hurricane on this map, a hurricane Nate, in order for me to assess which customer will be at risk of being impacted by this hurricane. So I can easily download from the web a GeoJSON that describes this path, or I could even compute that. And now in Oracle Analytics, if I navigate to Console and Maps, I can see data layers, backgrounds, and reference layers at the top. And reference layers is what I need. I can simply add a new layer and point this to the GeoJSON with the Nate path. Just add it to Oracle Analytics, save it, and that's it. I can now use this layer directly in the maps, even if I don't have any data to visualize it. If we go back to the workbook we just built, here is our map. We can now simply add a new map layer under the Layer tab, and we are going to select a reference layer this time. This means that we want to show the layer even though we do not have any data to tie it to. So I'm going to select this layer we uploaded, but I could also have shown some of the out-of-the-box layers without any data. And here is our layer. Let me color it so that we can see it highlighting on the map. Let's make this in blue, for instance. And here's our layer on the map. It now behaves just like any other layer in Oracle Analytics. I can zoom, I can turn it on, turn it off. Notice that we did not have any data to show this layer. So I have no data in my business data. All I have is the data for my customers, which is a lot long. For reference layers to show, I need to at least have one data layer on the map. And of course, once I have it, I can now interact with the layers just as I would with any other, I can select the customers that are at risk under the storm path, download them, do my business analysis using these layers. Now, I can also combine multiple reference layers in a single map. So let's upload two distinct reference layers. Let's take another example. Let's upload flooding GeoJSON showing how water would rise over Boston in a predicted uh, scenario for 2014. And here's another predicted scenario of flooding for 2080 over time. Now let's go and try to show both these layers on a different map. So this is a map showing the schools in Boston. So the yellow dots are showing each school. And just like I did earlier, I'm going to add reference layers to the map and color them. So this is the 2040 flooding layer. And I can see already that some schools overlap with that. And I'm going to add another reference layer showing the 2080 flooding. Now, this one comes on top of the previous one. So I can certainly organize how these two layers are on top of each other. Now, the blue is the 2040 and the pink is the 2080. And let me bring the schools on top. And now I can have a very granular analysis showing my reference layers and my business data. And I didn't have to have any data to show my reference layers. Thank you very much for your time watching this video.